Hi there, my name is Hunter Hauk and I have a lot of reptiles and amphibians which all need to eat. So in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you myself feeding all of my reptiles and amphibians. Before we hop into the video, I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer. In today's video, I'm not going to be putting calcium supplements on the insects because I want you to be able to see the insects before I feed them to the reptiles. In every other feeding instance, I would supplement my reptiles' insects with calcium powder or vitamin powder, so I just wanted you to know that I normally do in any other circumstance I would, but for this video, I'm not going to because I want you to be able to see the insects. I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching this video either have reptiles or want reptiles. So a lot of you guys are going to be curious as to where do I get these insects that I'm feeding my reptiles. All of the insects that I'm feeding in today's video came from DubiaRoaches.com, which this is not a sponsored video. Let me just make that clear, they are not a sponsor of this video, but I do have an affiliate link with them where you can actually get 10% off of your first order. So that is bit.ly slash dash hunter It's on the screen and it's also in the description. And I would really appreciate it if you do use that link to sign up because it gives you 10% off. And they do give me a little bit of money to spend on their website so that I can get even more feeder insects and make cool new videos of my reptiles trying treats and stuff. In this video, I'm going to be trying to feed my reptiles and amphibians hornworms and waxworms, which I talk about the specifics of each insect in the video, but I just want to make it very clear that I don't feed waxworms or hornworms on a regular basis. They're both not great staples for reptiles and amphibians, so they should be used sparingly and as a treat. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. I am so incredibly lucky to be able to wake up every single morning in a room filled with all sorts of amazing animals. I get to watch them, I get to hold them, I get to enjoy them, but one of the most enjoyable things about having all of these animals is feeding them. So I've decided to share a little bit of that joy with you. The first animal that I'll be feeding in today's video is Persephone. Persephone is my Anaxyrus woodhousey, or woodhouse's toad. Persephone came from the wild when she was almost dead. She has quite a sad story with a very happy ending, and I plan on making a video all about it soon, so once I make it, I will link it in the description. The first insect which I'll be feeding Persephone in today's video is a hornworm, also known as a tobacco hornworm, and their scientific name is Mandusa sexta. They are very, very high in water contents, but they lack a lot of other nutrients, so they aren't a great staple, but they do make a great treat. As you can see, I took Persephone out of the enclosure to feed her because for some reason, whatever reason, she does not like to eat in her enclosure. As you can see, Persephone had no problem gobbling up this hornworm. She really, really liked it. I'd say she gives it 5 out of 5 stars. The next insect that I gave Persephone was a waxworm. This was her first time trying one. Waxworms are the larvae form of the wax moth. They are very high in fat, like 20% higher than crickets and they're lower in water, and they're lower in protein, so they're really only good as a treat. She enjoyed the first one as you saw, but this next one I let sit there for like 3 minutes, and she really didn't eat it at all, so I don't think she really likes waxworms. Tonight wasn't actually feeding night for Persephone, so these two insects, supposed to be three, but she refused to eat the last one, were just treats. The next animal that I'm going to be feeding is Pippin. Pippin is my blizzard leopard gecko, Eublepharis macularius, and she's also my garbage disposal. If there's a feeder insect that someone refuses, 
Pippin is sure to take it. She absolutely will eat anything. This first insect that you're gonna see her eating is a wax worm. She has never tried these before, so I was very excited to see if she would like them or not. You'll notice her enclosure looks a little bare, and that's because I took out some of the objects in there, including one of her hides, because they were making it so that I could barely see into the tank with the camera, so you couldn't really see her eat. As you can see, I literally had to pick her up and gently move her over to the insect because, well, she's not the smartest. But once she actually ate the waxworm, like you just saw right there, she absolutely loved it. Here's a 600% speed clip of Pippin impatiently waiting for her next item, which was a dubia roach. These are a very common insect in her diet. Pippin absolutely loves dubia roaches. If you're somewhere where they are available to you, I would definitely recommend them because every reptile and amphibian that I've fed them to have absolutely loved them, and they are full of nutrients. They're a lot healthier than crickets or mealworms or any other feeder. They are truly, in my opinion, the best feeder insect. I decided to give her one more waxworm since, like I said, she's never had them before and I don't feed them often. I've been keeping reptiles for over two years now and I've only bought waxworms one other time. Next up is the big, blue, juicy, and if you're a reptile, delicious hornworm, which as you can see Pippin is a big fan of. She's like, yum yum yum, give me all of the hornworms. She absolutely loves them. Look at her licking her lips. Is she not the most adorable little leopard gecko you've ever seen eat? Comment down below what you think is the cutest reptile while they're eating. And here she is again. Oh, she missed. When I say she is food motivated, I mean it. Watch this. She climbed up there, but then I realized you couldn't really see it on camera, so I just ended up giving it to her. Isn't that adorable? I also offered Pippin a black soldier fly larvae, which are really, really high in calcium, which is super good for them, but she didn't want it. She was full, so I just set it in her food dish, and she ended up eating it later. Before we move on, I just wanted to plug my Instagram real quick. I post my reptiles and amphibians there every single day, so if you want to see some adorable reptiles and amphibians, be sure to go follow me at Hunter Hawk Official. The next animal which I'll be feeding in today's video is Parker. Parker is one of my White's tree frogs, Latoria Kerulia. Parker is a very, very small White's tree frog. Usually they are big. Parker is still a baby like only a few months old. Look at that adorable frog. The first insect that I'll be feeding Parker in today's video is a hornworm. For those of you who don't know, sometimes to get white tree frogs to try a new food, you have to tap it on their lips and then they'll open up and just like that eat it, but Parker kind of missed. and success. You'll notice when frogs are eating, and toads, they close their eyes, and what they actually do is they close their eyes so that they can use their eyeballs to help push the food down their throat. So this next insect is a waxworm, which boom, you see it and then you don't see it. That's how quickly they eat stuff. And it's adorable because sometimes they have to use their hands.
White's tree frogs are prone to obesity, which can cause a lot of health issues for them, so my white's tree frogs are a healthy weight. A lot of the ones that you'll see on like Instagram and stuff really aren't, and it's kind of sad because people will make them super obese just so that they can look cuter apparently. So if you do want to get white's tree frogs, do lots of research so that you know what a healthy weight is. Parker got scared by this dubia roach, but just like that, he popped back up and ate it. Let's do an instant replay. Look at that maneuvering. They kind of fell out, grabbed onto the tongs, and pulled their way back up. That's what I call a gymnastics frog. And another dubia roach. Nom.com I just want to remind you that you should always dust your reptiles and amphibians feeder insects with calcium and vitamin D3. The only reason that I didn't do that in this particular video was so that you could see the actual insect, not just like a white blob. Because I'm hoping that you can learn something about insects as well from this video. Fun fact about dubia roaches, for those of you who don't know, they are illegal in Florida and Canada. This is so awkward because they're kind of hanging out and then they eventually ate it. But just look at that, that can't be comfortable. So I picked them up and put them back down where they were sitting before I went to feed them so that I could grab their sibling. Next up is Prada. Prada is my other white's tree frog who is absolutely adorable if I do say so myself. So while I was grabbing the insect, Prada just kind of sat down there in the frog soap dish. That's what this is, it's made to hold soap, but I feel like every white's tree frog owner has one of these. So this first insect is a dubia roach, because I already had them out, and I had to poke Prada on the butt so that they would <laughs> like sit up so that I could feed them the insect. Nom. Prada really went for this one. And another one. There we go again. And then Prada appeared, or disappeared, back into the abyss of the frog dish, so I had to poke them on the butt again, so that I could see their mouths so I would know how to feed them. They're like, no, I just want to sit down here and eat. But they can't have the best of both worlds. And another roach. Next up, we have a hornworm. If you remember, Parker absolutely loved it, so I was very excited to see if Prada would as well. And it looks like a spaghetti noodle. Prada says, thank you, that was very delicious. I approve. And another. Prada's like, why am I being spoiled today? 
Look at those tiny little eyes, or giant eyes, just poking out. You'll notice, like I mentioned earlier, when they were eating that hornworm, they kind of used their mouth. Or, excuse me, they used their hands to put it in their mouth. I say hands, paws, feet, whatever. Not paws, feet. And we tried fishing for a frog, but it just didn't work. I was seeing if it would get them to jump up for the insect so you could see it, but yeah, my plan didn't go as well as I was hoping. So I had to do another butt poking mechanism. And this is a wax worm, by the way. not a fan so I decided to grab a different one because some insects just don't appeal to them and when you grab the same variety but just a different individual they're like okay yeah this one looks better and they disappeared back into the dish silly frog Still no takers. Since Prada didn't want to eat, it was time to show you like a size comparison. For starters, you can see Prada is slightly larger than Parker. Speaking of Parker, Parker did not want to go back into that dish. Next, and finally, we're going to be feeding Peyton. Peyton is my adult female leopard gecko, and she is in a bioactive enclosure, except she kind of killed all of her plants, so I need to redo it with fake plants. I was hoping that the real plants would work out, but unfortunately not. So I did have to take out the sliding glass doors because they were making a huge reflection. This is a wax worm, and I'm now realizing that the light was probably too bright, so you could barely even see it, which is quite sad. Anyways, she just went nom on it. She loved it. There we go. After that, it should be focused for the rest of the feeding clip. Here is another wax worm. This was Peyton's second time trying wax worms since she had tried them once before about a year ago and she liked it just as much as I remembered seriously these should not be a common thing they're super super high in fat next up is the hornworm which she really really liked For those of you who don't know, Peyton did drop her tail a few months back, so that's why she has a partially regrown tail. She missed, and she dropped it, and now she's going to eat it again. There we go. She kind of ate it sideways. That was quite strange. I didn't even notice that the first time. Isn't she just adorable? And next up we have a mealworm, super basic. It's tiny compared to her. And here we have a dubia roach.
Mmm, she went right for that one. The whole time autofocus kept saying that her tail was her face, so it kept wanting to focus on that, which was really, really annoying. Look at her licking her lips. She's like, I smell more insects. You better give me more. And so that's what I did. I gave her another dewy roach. Which, as you can see, she just attacked. And she missed, but then she got it the second time, so all is well that ends well, right? Peyton was the last animal, so let's cut to the outro. I hope that you absolutely loved today's video. I really, really enjoyed filming it, and I really, really enjoyed watching it back while I was editing. If you did, please give this video a like. That helps me out by letting YouTube recommend this video to even more people so they can smile while watching it too. I want you to comment down below which your favorite animal of mine is to watch eat. If you liked the frogs best, let me know, or if you liked the leopard geckos best, let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, I would really, really appreciate it if you would hit subscribe. That seriously helps out the channel so much, and it helps me be able to make more videos like this. I hope that you'll stick around too, because I make lots of videos about my reptiles and amphibians, and I would love it if you would watch. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.